Hello, hello, Namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here in our online yoga school virtual studio. Today is Thursday, July 28th, and I am recording this session early in the morning because I will not be able to come live this evening. So peace and blessings be to you, and thank you so much for joining me here in a virtual studio. And my apologies for not being able to go live this evening. So I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your seat. I am sitting in a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to relax, soothe, unwind our mind and our bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are tucked at our navel. This allows us to keep a nice strong spinal cord. Our spine is elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of that body helps with our posture. Our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears, meaning we are not sitting in tension. We are not tense. Sometimes we sit tense. So just relaxing those shoulders helps us relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies, our neck and our shoulders. Gazing our eyes downward or closing our eyes. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum if that feels good for you. As we relax in silence, meditation for four natural breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Relaxing our palms onto the earth. Our palms are connected to our environment. As we are tuning in to what is going on around us. Simply being aware and being mindful of what is happening right here, right now. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds we may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing to us in our practice here today. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Flowing our palms above our heads, coming into our salute. Palms are together, interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Shoulders, Flows up towards the ears, feeling that spinal cord get nice and elongated here as we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back. Our heart chakra is open and our chin is up. This is a slight back bend here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, separating our palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. As we twist our bodies towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth. As we gaze over that right shoulder, we are in our seated twist. This twist relaxes and soothes the spine. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, flowing into that seated star. Our palms are outward towards the side. Twisting the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth, gazing over that left shoulder. Spinal twist opposite side. Feeling our spine soothe and relax here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, flowing into that star. As we breathe to that salute, palms together. Exhale into prayer, relaxing those palms downward at heart center, flowing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Feeling the upper parts of our bodies relax and soothe as we gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes. Two breaths. Breathe in deeply. 
exhale through the mouth. Feeling that body soothe as we flow into our bow position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our body. This is a hip opener. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. These are hip openers. We're working our hip flexors in these poses. So if we have tight hips, maybe flow into that diamond or flow into the butterfly if that feels best. Ensuring that we are not overstretching our bodies here. So doing what feels best for you in your present moment. With our heart chakra open and our chin up, we're going to flow into our bound cow pose, allowing our head to flow between our shoulder blades. Tummies are tucked at our navel as our head flows between our shoulder blades. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into cat. Chin comes towards the clavicle. Spinal cord flows back to the spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Tummies tucked at our navel. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to our bound position, either our diamond or our butterfly. As we slightly hinge at the hips, our torso comes downward towards our thighs. Head relaxes downward towards our feet. Shoulder blades melts forward. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, you'll feel it deeper here in the hip flexors. So only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go down. And we're going to hold this pose four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, coming back into that down position. Using our hands to bring our knees in. What we're going to straighten our legs out, coming into a staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Final cords nice and long. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears as we are gaze forward. Maybe closing our eyes or gazing our eyes downward. Three breaths. Tummies tucked at the navel. Two more breaths. Exhale into a half forward fold, slightly hinging at the hips, noticing how this feels behind our legs and our hamstrings. You'll also feel it in your lumbar spine, your lower back. Half forward fold, or if we're able, we can come into a complete forward fold. Maybe pointing our toes downward towards the earth, coming into that plantar flex and reaching down to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet as our head relaxes down towards our knees. This complete forward fold is a full body stretch as we take subtle breaths and relax and soothe here for four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half forward fold. Lower back up to that staff pose. Back so nice and long. As we breathe our palms up to our salute. Chin is up. Exhale the prayer. Relaxing our palms at heart center. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. As we work on our Sage Marici one, taking that right leg, knees up in the air, right foot is flat on the earth, lifting that right arm up in the air, leaning the body towards the left, leaning forward, lowering that arm downward as we wrap this right arm around that left, as we wrap, as we wrap this right arm around that right leg. Sage Marici one, heart chakras open, chin is up. If we choose, we can take this left hand, bring it behind our backs and interlacing our fingers. If that feels good, allowing our heart chakra to rise a little more, chin is up. Or we can hinge at our hips coming into a Sage Marichi too. Head relaxes downward towards the knee. 
We can do both or either or. Whatever feels best to you, three more breaths. Two breaths. As we slowly uninterlace those fingers, we're going to unwrap that leg, coming back into that staff pose, flowing up into our salute, palms above the head, chin is up. Exhale the prayer, palms at heart center. Two breaths. As we flow into our Sage Marici opposite side, left leg comes out, up, left leg comes up, knees in the air, foot is flat on the earth. Taking that left arm up in the air, lean in the body towards the right, lean in forward, lowering that arm as we wrap this left arm around that left leg, Sage Marici too. If we choose, we can take this right arm, bring it behind our backs and interlace our fingers. With our heart chakra open and our chin up, we are in that Sage Marici one. If we hand jack the hips, lowering our head down, we come into that Sage Marici two. Whatever pose feels best for you, three more breaths. Two breaths. As we slowly interlace those fingers, uninterlace those fingers, we're going to unwrap that left leg, coming back into our staff pose, straightening our legs side by side, flowing into our salute, Palms above our heads, palms together, toes pointing downward towards the earth, heart chakras open, chin is up, tummy's nice and tight at the navel, three breaths, two breaths, exhale a prayer, relaxing those palms at heart center. Shoulders relax downward. Crossing our feet at our ankles, we're gonna come into a tabletop pose. In our tabletop, our knees are hip distance apart, palms are flat on the earth. As we drop down to our cow, this cow pose relaxes and soothes that lumbar spine, the lower parts of the back. With our chin slightly up, and maybe our eyes are closed, we're gonna hang out here in this cow, Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to cat. She comes to the clavicle. Spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Flowing back to cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our table, and as we breathe our right leg towards the back, we're gonna come into that sunbird. As both of our palms are flat on the earth, we're gonna pause that right leg up in the air. We are working on our gluteus maximus, four breaths. Gazing forward, tummies tight. Two breaths. As we find that pause, we're gonna breathe our left arm forward. We are now in that full sunbird. We are balancing and strengthening here. Four breaths, gazing forward. Two breaths. Exhale back to our table. Drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we work on our tiger pose, we're going to take that right leg, lift that right foot up in the air. Like we are doing a gluteus maximus crunch. Yes. This is our tiger. Gaze forward. If we want to go deeper in that tiger, the tiger pose works that gluteus maximus. Of course, you probably can feel it in your buttocks. If you want to go deeper in our tiger, we can take our left hand, connect our left hand to our right foot and feel that stretch. We are now in the tiger variation. Gazing forward. Two more breaths. Exhaling out of that tiger, palms flat on the earth. 
and we can actually go into another tiger. We can connect our right hand to our right foot. <sighs> Gazing forward. Three breaths. Tiger variation, two more breaths. Exhale back down to table. Knees are hip distance apart. Drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Low into our table as we sunburn left side. Left leg goes towards the back, feeling that stretch. <sighs> Pulsing that left leg up, working at gluteus maximus. Tummy's tight, gaze forward, four breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause as we breathe this right arm forward. We are in that full sunburn, opposite side. Gazing forward, tummy's tight. Four breaths. Three breaths. Exhale back to our table. Drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we sunburn left side again, bringing that left leg towards the back. This time we're going to come into our tiger pose, bending that up in the air, working at gluteus maximus. Both palms are flat on the earth. We are in our tiger. This tiger really does lift and round our buttocks. We can go deeper in that tiger if we choose, connecting our right hand to our left foot, feeling that stretch, gazing forward, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling that hand back down. We also can work on our tiger with our left hand to left foot. Let's give that a try, seeing how that feels within the body. Back in that tiger pose, bringing that left hand to that left foot, lifting that leg up in the air. Tiger opposite side. Gazing forward, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back down to table. Knees are hip distance apart. Drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. We're going to push our bodies up to our damn dog. We are building strength. Our bodies are probably getting nice and tired. That's a good thing. Feeling the body get nice and warm, shall I say. So bodies are getting nice and warm. That's a good thing. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, left and right. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. Shifting our weight forward, high plank. Tummies are tight. Dropping down to a low plank. We're coming down to a chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Two breaths. Exhale down to our space pose. We are on our tummies. We are on our forearms. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears, meaning our shoulders are not shrugged. Having control of their body with our chin up. Eyes gaze down. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Soothing and relaxing. Four more breaths. Two breaths, allowing the heartbeat to regulate. Exhale into our baby cobra, placing our palms next to our torso. Pushing our torso slightly away from the earth. Elbows are bent, baby cobra. Straightening those elbows, coming into a cobra. This is a deeper back bend. Chin is up. Exhale into up dog, untucking those toes, pushing those thighs off the earth. Chin is up, up dog, four breaths. Two breaths. 
Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking out with dog, pedaling our feet left and right. Finding that pause, we're gonna breathe our right foot to our right hand, runner's lunge. Hanging out here just for a second. Dropping down to a low lunge, left knee comes down towards the earth. Pushing our torso away from our thigh. Breathing our palms above our head, coming into that crescent lunge. Chin is up. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, framing that front foot. Taking that left knee off the earth, back into that runner's lunge. Straightening that front leg, coming into a pyramid. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down towards that knee. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to runner's lunge, bending that front knee. As we breathe, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding our pause, we're gonna breathe our left foot to our left hand, runner's lunge, opposite side. <sighs> Dropping that right knee down to the earth, coming into that low lunge. Pushing our torso away from our thigh. Breathing our arms above our heads, crescent lunge, chins up. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, framing that front foot. Taking that right knee off the earth, back into a runner's lunge. Straighten that leg into a pyramid. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down towards the knee. Feeling the body relaxing soon. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet, tummy's tight. Walking our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold. This is a full body stretch, allowing that head to melt down. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. The back is straight. Three breaths. Two breaths. Yogi walking the feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance here. Flowing back down to that complete forward fold as we flow into a rag bow. Connecting our hands to our elbows, head melts down. And in our rag bow, we can sway slash rock our body from side to side. Noticing how that feels within your lower back and behind your legs and your hamstrings. Four breaths. Finding our pause at center, coming into a half forward fold. Breathing up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Palms are at our side, bringing our legs together. As we breathe our palms above our head and our standing salute, palms are together. Interlacing our fingers together with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. 
Allowing our arms to flow towards the back of the room. Chin is up. This is a slight back bend. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, separating the palms, coming into that standing extended mountain, meaning our palms are separated. And our standing salute, our palms are together. And our standing salute, our palms are together. And our extended mountain, our palms are separated. As we lean our bodies towards the right, we are in our standing side bend, gazing up at the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. Body leans to the opposite side, side bend, gazing up at the heaven. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that standing salute, palms together. Exhale, standing prayer, breathing the palms down with that heart center. Relaxing those shoulders down, away from the ears. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale through the mouth. As our feet are grounded and rooted in the earth. As we are planted, as we are humble. Taking a moment to simply go inward. Focusing on who we are and where we are. No matter how far we go in life, no matter how successful we become in life, may we always be grounded. May we always be rooted. Always being humble. No matter how high we fly, how successful we become, knowing our roots, always being humble. It's a beautiful thing. As we stand in our prayer, going inward with our eyes closed or gaze down, the six natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, hinge back to hips. Keeping the palms at heart center, half forward fold. Feeling this behind the legs and the hamstrings. Backs are straight. Gonna hold this three more breaths. Bending the knees, coming into a chair pose. We are working the lower parts of our bodies here in our chair. Extending out arms in front of us, coming into that extended chair. Chin is up. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Breathing up, palms down, heart center. Chair pose, twist right side. Feeling that twist. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to center. Chair pose, twist opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold. Head relaxes down, gazing down. <sighs> Three more breaths. Walking our hands forward, bringing our feet towards our back, down dog. As we flow into a three-legged dog, right leg flows up in the air, feeling that stretch, gazing back at the foot. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. 
Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Flow into down dog. Gazing at the feet. Three-legged dog opposite side. Left leg flows to back. Gazing at that foot. Two more breaths. Exhale, knee to elbow. Flow into three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhaling down dog, gazing at the feet. Dropping down to our dolphin on our forearms, buttocks is high in the air. We are on our forearms, gazing back at our feet. Maybe walking our legs closer towards our bodies, allowing their buttocks to come nice and high in the air. We can also pulse up and down on our tippy toes like we're ready to launch our body up into a headstand, but we're not going to do a headstand. This dolphin is a headstand prep. Five more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, we're going to come into a wide-legged puppy pose. Buttocks is high in the air. Torso comes downward towards the earth. Let's make it an extended. Arms are extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth. Our third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the yoga mat. This puppy pose works the lumbar spine. It also regulates the heartbeat. It also allows us to relax and soothe and go inward as our third eye chakra, our forehead, is connected to the yoga mat. We're gonna hang out here five natural breaths of silent meditation. Two more breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose, using our palms to push our bodies forward, feeling that wave, using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. So we are spinal wave and feeling that rotation here in our hips and our spine. You'll feel it relaxing and soothing. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pose at center, coming into that tabletop pose, dropping down to cow. Chin is up. Exhale to catch. He comes to the clavicle. Flowing back to our table. Crossing our feet at our ankles. Coming into a seated pose. Just for a second, we're going to flow onto our backs. Coming into a reclined position. Bringing our knees into our chest. Hugging our knees into our chest. <sighs> Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. As we breathe our knees towards the left, recline spinal twist. Feeling this spinal twist here. You may feel your spinal cord crack if you allow the body to relax. Maybe you may feel the spinal crack. You may feel it just simply relax. Shoulder blades melts to the back. Right arm comes out to the side like the lowercase T. 
as we gaze up at the heavens or gaze over that right arm. Feeling it, feeling that nice deep twist. And we're gonna hang out here, relaxing and going inwards for five natural breaths. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Exhale and recline spinal twist, opposite side. Knees fall towards the right, feeling that recline spinal twist. Left arm goes out like a T. Gazing over that left arm. Or gazing up at the heavens as our shoulder blades melt back into the yoga mat. Feeling our bodies relax and soon becoming one with the earth, with our environment. Eyes are gazed down and closed. Five natural breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, hugging those knees into the chest, showing ourselves a little self-love, gratitude, appreciation, and showing up here today. As we breathe our legs up in the air, legs on a wall, or invisible wall with our toes pointing up towards the heavens. We are in that plantar flex. Reaching down, bringing our hands to the lower parts of our legs. As we breathe our legs towards our torso, buttocks come slightly off the earth. We can connect our hands to our toes if we choose. Legs to chest, three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, legs up in the air. Breathing our knees to our chest. Crossing our feet at our ankles. We're gonna work on our core, our abdominal muscles. Lifting our bodies up, coming into a boat pose. Feeling that tummy crunch. Lifting the body up. Coming into that boat pose. Feeling the core muscles engaging here. Working the obliques and the abdominal muscles. We can keep our feet crossed at our ankles or we can straighten our legs out. Whatever feels best for you here in our boat pose. Core's tight, backs are nice and long. Hands to the side, gaze forward. Seven breaths. Five breaths. Three breaths. Breathing our hands in, keeping our legs up. We're gonna pound our hands from side to side, working our obliques a little. We're gonna do this for seven breaths. Five breaths. Three breaths. Finding our pause, breathing our hands to our feet. Knees are up towards our torso. <sighs> We're gonna hold this pose just for a couple breaths. Gaze forward, spinal cords long. 
Shoulders relax down. Tummies are tight, tucked at our navel. Two more breaths. As we extend that left leg towards the side, working on that boat pose variation. And you'll feel that stretch behind your leg and your hamstring here. Tummies are tight, spinal cord is long. If we should bend or slouch, we may fall over. So keeping that nice long spine is what helps keeps us up. Two more breaths. Breathing that leg in, extending that left leg out towards the sides, feeling that stretch behind the hamstrings here. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Three more breaths. Exhaling that leg back in, two breaths. Tummies tucked at our navel. As we exhale, that left leg towards the side. Breathing the right leg towards the side. We are in that full boat pose variation. Allowing our legs to flow towards the side, coming into a nice wide legged V. We can bend our knees if that feels best for us. We can keep our legs straight. Feeling that stretch coming nice and wide. Or we can breathe our legs inward. Noticing that when you breathe the legs inward, you work with the parts of the four abdominal muscles. <clears throat> or bring them out. Whatever feels best for you. Five more breaths. Three breaths. Exhale, breathing the legs back in, coming into a bound position, diamond or butterfly. Feet are bound together. Hips are open, spinal cord is nice and long. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. As we flow into our bound cow, head relaxes between the shoulder blades. Exhale into cat, chin comes to the clavicle, spinal cord flows towards the back. Coming back to our diamond or our butterfly, slightly hinging at the hips. Torso comes down, head relaxes towards the feet. Gaze in the eyes down or closing them. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, backs are straight, heart chakras open, chin is up, two breaths. Using our hands to breathe our legs inward, flowing back onto our backs, coming into a recline position, hugging knees into chest. As our feet flows to the earth, knees are in the air, we're working on our bridge pose. Now here in our bridge, we can simply Pulse our gluteus maximus, our hip flexors up in the air, working on that pelvic tilt. We are in that bridge pose. See that? Or we can come, or we can come deeper in that bridge, lifting up our buttocks, bringing our hands together underneath our buttocks, and walking our shoulder blades towards our spine. Our hip flexors are high and our chest is high. We are in our deep bridge. This works our gluteus maximus, our thighs, our quads. It works our lower back. It soothes and relaxes the mind and body. So we can cross the body up or we can stay still here in our bridge. Whatever feels best for you. Eight breaths. Mm. Six breaths. Four breaths. Hmm. 
two breaths. Pulse in that gluteus maximus up and down. Feeling that burn. As we pause, pulsing it up nice and high and feeling that squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, buns of steel. Holding a pose. Two more breaths. Uninterlacing those fingers, untucking those shoulders, relaxing the buttocks down, bringing the knees into the chest, hugging them in. As we work on our reverse pigeon, taking this right leg, bringing it towards our torso, crossing that right foot over that left thigh, bringing it closer towards the body. You'll feel that stretch. We are in our reverse pigeon here. You'll feel that stretch in your gluteus maximus. Two more breaths. Exhaling out knees to chest, hugging knees into chest. Reverse pigeon opposite side, taking that left leg, that left foot, crossing it over that right, bringing that leg towards the torso. You'll feel that stretch behind your left buttocks. Soothing and relaxing, two more breaths. Exhale, uncrossing that foot, coming back. Hugging knees to chest. Exhale, legs back up in the air. Legs on the wall. Pointing those toes up towards the heavens. Breathing those legs towards the torso. Or connecting the hands to the feet. Buttocks comes off the earth. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, legs back up in the air, breathing our knees to our chest. Exhale, Shavasana, rest pose. Legs are parallel, side by side. The sides of our feet are connecting. As our feet flow to the side like a V, allowing our legs to completely relax here. Doing whatever we feel is needed with our arms and our hands. Placing them wherever we feel comfortable. With our eyes gazed down and closed, shoulder blades flows back into the yoga mat, connected to the earth. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. As we relax and go inward, focusing on self, finding harmony within. Seven breaths, silent meditation. Three more breaths. Keeping our eyes closed, if that feels good, we're going to flow into a fetal pose, rolling onto our sides, finding relaxation and comfort here in our fetal position. <sighs> Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. And we're going to relax and see if you for four more breaths. Four Two more breaths. 
using our top hand to push our torsos away from the earth. We're going to come into a hip pose. I'm going to come into a cow face. May you find any seated pose that feels good for you. As we are using our seated pose to relax and prepare our bodies to end our session here today. If we choose to stay in our Shavasana, our fetal pose, feel free. If we are seated, our tummies are tucked at our navel. Spinal cords are elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Shoulders are relaxed down away from the ears. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Gaze in the eyes downward or close in the eyes. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth. Noticing what the breath does to the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into that seated prayer. Thumbs touching the sternum if you choose. Taking nice, subtle breaths here. Breathe in. Exhale. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in the busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you all so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.